Welcome back to JSA TV Live, where we are the live streaming news source here at Data Cloud USA and having a great day two so far. I'm Keely Dorian, and right now I am joined by the lovely Michael Holm, the global sector lead for Telia. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. Nice to have me here. Yeah, so how has your, um, your Data Cloud conference been going so far, and what sorts of great things have you been learning about? Of course, there are lots of, of uh, sustainability topics on the agenda, and that, that's, a, that's a thing that is good for, for us, like a data center provider. The, the, the company I represent, we are coming from the Northern Europe, from the Nordic, so we are present in all the <coughs> Nordic countries like Finland, Sweden, Norway, and so on. Yeah, let's back up and let's talk just a little bit about Telia. Of course, a very big name in the industry, but for some of our U.S. viewers who maybe aren't as familiar, can you just share a little bit about who you are and what you do and, and where you operate a little bit more? Yeah, yeah I said we are in, in, the, in the Nordics, so Finland, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and the Baltic states, There is that's our home market. Maybe people here in, in, in U.S. know us more about our former company called Telia Carrier, that is today Aurelion, that was sold out, so that, that's what people here maybe in, in US US know this for. But we are a traditional telco with little over 20,000 people. That's where we are. Very good, thank you. So um, other than of course the, the sun and the great barbecue that you can find in the great state of Texas, what, what in particular brought you to Data Cloud USA here in Austin? Yeah, on my agenda of course we have a, we have a great new modern data center in, in, in Helsinki and of course I'm here to to look for, for customer, that, that US customer, when they're entering the, the European market, I think that, that the Nordics in general and Finland is a very, very great place in addition to traditional places like Frankfurt or Amsterdam today. That, that's, that's the main reason to be here. We are a colo I'm a co-location provider, that's, that's, that's my main job. Absolutely. So we've heard a lot of great thought leadership talk, you know, and people talk about um, sustainability alongside energy within our data center space. H have you heard any key takeaways or anything you think that will really help to start advance our industry as we um, move, move forward with uh, greening the data center space, if you will? Yeah, I think that uh, here is a lots of discussions in, in the US where, where we should be and where we should go. Uh, I think most of the data center, I'm not talking only on my own, also our, there's competitor in the Nordics, we are already there. And, and of course, this is going to be a, a tough year, thanks to the situation in Ukraine with, with, with energy prices going up and so on. But, but in, in, in general, we don't, we don't have any bigger issues with, with, with the availability of, of green energy in the Nordics and in, in the Finland. We have been running our data center on, on hydro for the last four years. So, so that's not, a, not it's not an issue. Uh, one particular thing is, is uh, Finland is going to open a new nuclear power plant. That means that we will have the base base for 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 energy when when it's not blowing or the sun is not, it's not shining. So, because you know we have a winter time when when this is a little tricky. So, so, so from from that point of view, I think there is not only on this event. This is also on, on other events. That, that there are lots of talking about where should we go, but, but we can already prove that we are there. We, we do all of these things that, that, that already here people are talking about. We have our UPSs integrated to the network grid. So if there is like a blackout in the, in the grid, we can support the grid with, with, with our UPSs. We don't use any data center in the, in the Nordics. We only use water in our toilets. We don't use water for cooling. We don't, we don't use water for, for cooling. We, most of the data center is 90-95% of the time running on free cooling. So, so the, the, these are things, and, and as I said, generally all data center in the Nordic runs on either hydro or, or wind. So, yeah. so, so I think we are already there. It, it sounds like you are, and I love that you're absolutely leading by example in showing, you know, these are the things that we can do as an industry. Do you think that others are ready for some of the more strict uh, emissions regulations that are coming? I, I, I think we all have to be ready. Of course, it's a little easier to say that, that since this data center that I represent, that, that was a purpose-built data center. We were opened it in 2018 so we could plan to be green already, and and, and Telia is, a, I think, also a forerunner. The company overall, we have already been CO2 neutral internally since 2020, I think 2020, 
and, and we are also putting a lot of efforts now into the so-called scope 3 that, 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 that we are also require that by 2025 75% of all our partners should also have these commit sets. So really, really end-to-end end end stuff. Uh, a, a little challenge is that maybe that, that can, we, can you really put this into customer prices? I, I, don't, I don't know. I think still in, in the end, the, the thing is that it's the money who makes the world go run. But, but if we want to have a, a, a better and a more sustainable world, we, we have to suffer somewhere. And, and, and for that reason, I think that it's much, much more greener to have data centers in the Nordic, for example, somewhere in southern Europe, where it's much, much warmer and so on. So, so that, that's the thing. Uh, answering your question, I don't know, did I answer your question? I, I think that, that over the years, this, this will be the standard. You have to be green if you want to be in the, in the data center. That's right, because ready or not, here it comes. So yes. we, but we love that you're leading the way and making some great points, and we love that you're here today at Data Cloud and here with us at JSA TV Live. Um, real quickly, just for our, our viewers, where can we go to learn more about what you guys are doing and working on? Well, one, one URL is looking at the telia.fi slash data center. There you will find it. Sounds great. Thank All you. right, well, check it out. Thank you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you, you to our viewers for joining us. And as always, happy networking.